What is up guys, it's Awana Turtle and today we're doing another Yu-Gi-Oh! opening. We are finishing a box of Infinity Chasers and we are in a rut guys. Um, it's I'm not going to complain too much because of just, we pulled <laughs> four Phantasmes so definitely there's no such, we can't complain too much. Uh, but we're definitely in a rut and we're going to see if we can't start getting some good pulls. We have 12 more packs of Infinity Chasers. Let's get one of those uh, Witchcrafter Creations or the Surzeal card. And so let's get into it. Okay, Infinity Chasers, here we go again. Uh, definitely have not been enjoying this set a whole lot. You just get, because the set is so small, you just get so many duplicates and still not hitting any of the cards that we really want to see. So, um, hopefully it'll start changing. Hopefully we get some better luck. Magicians, right hand, Infinitrack, Mountain Smasher. Uh, we got a train, we got some construction equipment. Performer Pal, Sky Magician. Actually, I think this is the first one I pulled of this lot. So at least we can see something new. And then the River Stormer. Uh, still not that good. Uh, although I like that one better than, uh, you know, like the constantly getting the, I don't know, like the trencher, the uh, evil which I mesmerism and stuff like that. All right, let's see. Uh, familiar of the evil eye. Basilisk familiar of the evil eye. Hidden armory, very cool. Infinite track, another mountain smasher, and then evil eye repose. Hmm, don't think I've hit this one, although I still don't think it's very good. Hopefully that's not our special secret rare. For these sets, it's like, it's kind of strange, like there's secret rare and then there's actually rare secret rares. So they're kind of overloading these rarities, but maybe maybe that's kind of expected as like the game gets as mature as it is, where they're simply ones that are much better, um, much better than this evil eye awakening, or rather much sought, much more sought after. And so, um, hope you guys have been enjoying the Yu-Gi-Oh content. I do feel like we're in a bit of a lull. Magic Cylinder, nice. Um, however, still still fun. Uh, we started the Speed Duel openings as well. And that's like another one where, uh, at, in the beginning, uh, so we got a Paradolia uh, for the Secret Rare. And in the beginning, it was kind of nice just to see some super old cards that haven't seen in ages. Although, then when you quickly get over that, it's like, oh my gosh, these cards are terrible. So Speed Duel, it's like it's whole new game and have mixed feelings about it. Jackal King, all right, sure, I guess that's kind of a hit. Not really, but uh, Shimeta, Shimeta, Marshalling Field, and then another Repose. So, all right, so maybe Repose is nothing special. Um, but yeah, the Speed Duel, we'll, we'll see how it continues to evolve. Uh, you got a couple of the skill cards, which was cool. However, they don't, yeah, they just don't seem that powerful. All right. I feel like they're kind of hitting their, like a hard reset button as far as the power creep and starting from scratch. And I'm curious to see how the, the, oh, finally, we got it, guys. We got a witchcrafter creation. Nice. Let's see if we can't read this. All right, so this thing's crazy. I actually thought um, one of the other cards had this effect, but all right, so add one witchcrafter monster from your deck to your hand. So basically tutors up a card. During your end phase, if you control a witchcrafter monster, while this card is in the graveyard, you can add this back to your hand. So basically you play this, you get a, a witchcrafter card, and then as long as you have a witchcrafter on the field, basically you can keep doing this. So, and the requirements to kind of continue that engine are very, not very high. So, very good hit. Finally, we hit something in this Infinity Chasers. This is our third box where um, a box and a half, I actually lost the videos, which I was kind of really disappointed in. Um, and this is our first real significant hit in this, in the series. Oh, man. Okay. Just that, uh, not gonna lie, that, that boosted my morale quite a bit when it comes to Yu-Gi-Oh! And, uh, well, it's kind of weird how easy that was for me to rebound. <laughs> Infinite Track, Drag Shovel, Arcanite Magician, and Heavy Industry. We have like 50 of these, and then uh, we're starting to get a bunch of these as well. But definitely a good hit right there, and I still don't have the proper sleeves for Yu-Gi-Oh! cards. Uh, usually, uh, I'll use like a perfect fit just to, it's a little bit better. 
Spell Absorption, Witchcrafter Masterpiece, I feel like I don't get many of these ones, and then Confronting the Sea, this insect is somewhere, and then the Mesmerism again. These sets, just to like illustrate, at the end we'll, we'll kind of recap things and see how much duplication we get in the secret rare slot. Alright, we got a Crab Crane. Oh, at first I thought that was a laser, now it occurs to me that's a crane. Well, I do lo I love the physics of cranes. Um, when it comes to Yu-Gi-Oh, <laughs> my crane appreciation drops a little bit. Infinity Track Goliath, I just like this because it reminds me of Automata. Oh my gosh! Oh, we got two of them? Gosh. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe I need to get more of this set. Uh, I'm I'm so all over the place and I recognize that guys but all right when things are hot I just naturally think like oh man do we do we need to keep pushing this and get more we got two witchcrafter creations from the same box that is insane all right we're 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 back in the full swing of things things are going good <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh is fun again uh Double Witchcrafter Creation. This is a insane opening. Uh, I almost feel like this makes up for all of the other boxes that have been absolutely terrible. Um, that's how good that card is. We got a Witchcrafter Scroll. Yeah, two creations. All right, well, this is, hopefully we can uh, rebound just as well with the uh, Arena of Lost Souls. So we got a Witchcrafter Draping. I actually don't remember seeing many of this either. Like, there's there's so many uh, ones that are, like, common and then ones that are actually rare, which I'm not going to lie. I think it's a good thing, but uh, just when, when you're struggling to hit it, uh, it, just, it can be frustrating. But then when, when you finally get it, oh, the payoff, man, it feels so good. Double Witchcrafter creation. That is crazy. So last pack. Definitely can't expect too much. And let's see, we got another draping. Nice. Jackal King. Alright, put that off the side. Goliath. And then a evil eye of Selene. I think one of the the Surzo card actually uh you need this Selene to make it uh significantly more power or for its full effect to take uh for to take its full effect. Alright, so let's see, we got two reposts. Alright, so we got a singletons of Infinity Track, River Stormer, Aya Selene, and Scroll. And then we have two Mesmerization, two Paradolias, uh, uh, Evil Eye Repost, and then Awakening. Although we have a lot of Awakenings. But, oh, I can't believe we got two of them. We do have two Witchcrafter Creations. Awesome pulls. Very happy with that. Um, yeah, that was our last in Infinity Chasers. I'm not sure if I'm going to get more, but I think... Uh, wrapping up three boxes, I am I am content with the results across three boxes, uh, but exclusively just from this single opening. So uh, I think we rebounded quite well from that. Uh, so if you guys enjoyed the opening, please do me a favor, hit that like button down below. And uh, ooh, what what do you what do you want to see more of on the Yu-Gi-Oh side of things? And uh, I'm definitely open to most things, but I'm curious to hear from you guys what it is that you're looking forward to or would like to see as far as existing stuff. As long as it's not like vintage -y stuff, um, that will obviously be much harder for me to obtain. Um, but overall, um, yeah, thanks again. Uh, I'm Buwana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.